Hello everyone and welcome to episode 57 of Form Guru series by Make Forms. I am Pratik, founder of Make Forms, and today we are going to take a look at how to create an EMI calculator using Make Forms. And we are going to do this using the one at a time format that is recently launched in Make Forms. So to create an EMI calculator, there is a formula which is not so simple. So here it says that P into R into 1 plus r raised to n divided by 1 plus r raised to n minus 1. So let's take a look at what each of this means, okay? So <clears throat> this is the uh, EMI or the equated monthly installment that we need to calculate. P is the principal amount, r is the rate of interest, and n is the loan term or tenure. So now let's take a look at how to achieve this in make forms. So we'll first of all create a form. We'll use the one at a time format and I will write EMI calculator. Okay. So here we need to collect three things. The first one being the principal, the second one being the rate of interest and the third one being the uh, number of years. So this N is actually uh, the number of months if you check out here. So they are when they are doing the calculations, uh, what they are doing is that they are using 120 months and not the 10 years. So the first thing that we will do is ask in for a number field. So I will just enter, enter your principal amount. The second thing that we'll ask is the another number field, uh, which is the rate of interest. The third thing that we will ask is the uh, tenure loan tenure uh, and we'll let the user enter this in years now what I will do the first thing is that I will add a calculated field and I'll name this as tenure in months and this is a calculated field and what I will do is I will multiply the number of years into 12 and then we'll mark this as a hidden field so our users cannot actually see this field. Now the next thing that we have to do is that we have to calculate the EMI. So I will add another calculated field, okay? And we'll say this as EMI. <clears throat> and now here, since this is a calculated field, we get a calculation builder over here in the right hand side. So now let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to take the principal, so we'll do this principal amount into and and this entire thing needs to be divided by this stuff so what i will do is i'll remove this the first thing that i will do is i'll keep an open bracket i will select enter your principal amount into the rate of interest now if you see the rate of interest the effective rate of interest is basically the rate of interest divided by 12 divided by number of uh, divided by 100 so first we need to add another calculated field uh, which is called the effective rate of interest so I will add this number sorry will this will be a calculated field so over here I will add another calculated field which is rate of interest divided by 12 divided by 100 and just write this as effective rate of interest just for our reference and now let's check it out um, let's say if I enter 7.2 is this working okay I think this won't work here we'll have to uh, preview or publish this form so I'll just go ahead and publish it out So let's say our so here it is 0 0.01 um, so it is 7 divided by 12 divided by 100 so it's 0 0.005 so that way it has come to 0 0.01 and this is because our calculated field uh, decimals are not correct so I will just go into the effective ROI 
and I will enter the precision to let's say 6 because it might be needed now let's republish this again and try it out so I'll hard refresh this so the cache is cleared and let's try to edit again And now here you can see it's 0 0.005833, which is now perfect. So this way we have uh, this value, which we will be requiring when doing our calculations. Also, uh, we can, if you need, we can also add images, but for now I will just not uh, do that. So now let's go ahead and calculate our EMI. So now we have the principal which is required and R which was the effective uh, rate of interest we have calculated this uh, and it is in our field number 5 so now let's go ahead and multiply this uh, with the effective ROI and then multiply this with this is the formula which is 1 plus R uh, divided by number of months so this I will multiply this and now I will open up another bracket and I would just write 1 plus effective ROI which is 1 plus effective ROI uh, raised to 120 I think that is what it is yes 1 plus effective rate of interest raised to n so we have the power field here in the number of months so 10 year in months what I will also do is that I will add one more bracket So now we can see that this into ROI into then these are the two brackets and now we'll close this and now we will divide this by divided by 1 plus rate of interest raised to n minus 1. So I will add two more brackets and here we'll just write 1 plus effective ROI. is to tenure in months minus one and then we'll close the bracket so here it says that formula is correct so this way we should be having our emi now let's republish this and let's try this again 10 lakhs rate of interest keep it as nine 10 years so this is the effective ROI oh, uh, we don't have it yet let's hard refresh maybe the formula has not been updated the cache is not clear so I will add 10 lakhs 9% 10 years effective ROI and this is not yet coming so let's check it out why is it so and the formula is correct mm, the precision is also correct so it should come up now let's so it's principal into ROI into what is this state tenure in months divided by okay so this is where the it went wrong it was one plus so I just forgot to add a plus so I will add it and I will put it over here here it's perfect 1 plus effective ROI raised to tenure minus 1 now let's republish it again wait for 5 seconds and then check it out again Nine percent, 10 years and here it is so it's 7690 so this is how you can actually calculate the EMI. What I will do is I'll change this to 12% and try it out again and it changes the EMI. Now what I want to do is that I really don't want to show this EMI like this but I want to go ahead and present it in a much better way. So I'm also going to now hide the EMI field and now I will add another text paragraph text over here and I would say uh, your EMI for rupees this at 
present for years will be rupees my EMI per month okay and I will republish this and we will see this working in real life so now the users won't see this but they will be seeing a text which gives them the EMI in real time so now we will enter the principal amount we will enter the rate of interest we will enter the tenure and we will also hide this by the way and it says your EMI for rupees 10 lakhs at 9% for 10 years will be this much per month you can also do the formatting in a much better way I have not added spaces uh, and it's very easy so now we will just hide the effective ROI and also enter the spaces wherever needed so this is sorry rate of interest for this is years not yes will be rupees interest per month so now we have also updated the formatting if you feel that you need to change the font size you can go ahead and change the font sizes or if you want to increase the line height you can always increase the line height uh, maybe uh, what I also want to do is that I want to add an image to this particular um, you know page so I would just put it out over here and then I will do it something like this and I will republish this so the source is published updated and I will check it out pretty quickly you see this is the updated one so this is how guys you can create EMI calculator using the uh, make forms one at a time option so if you want to learn more about how to you can create these kind of uh, forms please follow our journey of form gurus by subscribing to this channel I am Pratik and I will be posting one video every day my goal is to do 100 videos so in within by doing the 100 videos you can actually be a form guru yourself of course by using make forms you can let me know in the comment below what kind of uh, difficulties you face when you try to create forms and I will try my best to actually create videos on such use cases so that's it guys Pratik here from make forms bye bye